Okay, this lesson is about heat radiation. Um, what we're going to do is to look at the different colours and how they emit and absorb heat radiation and then to try to apply the ideas to why things are the colour they are. So just a few reminders. You'll remember infrared radiation from the electromagnetic spectrum. It's just below visible light. So if you're thinking about what an infrared wave does, it generally does something pretty similar to what a visible light wave will do. Okay, so they're electromagnetic waves, like light, but they have a slightly longer wavelength. So if this was a red light, then an infrared wave would just have a slightly longer wavelength than that. What this means is that they can travel through a vacuum. So for example, heat can get from the sun to the earth by infrared radiation. They travel at the same speed as light. So you remember that all of the different parts of the spectrum travel at 300 million meters per second. And just like all the other waves, they can be reflected, transmitted, or absorbed, and that will become very important over these two lessons. Um, this is a required practical. There is a link that you can uh, watch this required practical, and you get this thing called Leslie's Cube, and you m measure the radiation coming off the different colored surfaces. So here's a little animation of that. So what we do is we choose our color of surface. So for example, silver, you fill the can with boiling water, the can reaches 80 degrees C inside, and then this measures the temperature that seems to, the side seems to be, by measuring the radiation that comes off it. So this is not the temperature the side actually is, this is the temperature to do with the amount of heat radiation it's giving off. And the silver um, one comes at 28 degrees C, but if we put the matte black side in, uh, sorry, so if I put the matte black side in front of it, so two things you notice here. One is it's black and not silver, so it's um, a different color. The matte part of this is the fact that it's uh, not very reflective. So we do the same thing. It heats up to 80 degrees C again. Okay, but this time it seems to be 42 degrees C. This, what this tells you is that it's giving off a lot more heat radiation than the silver side. Okay, I won't go through these two, but you, silver is the worst one. Matte black is the best one at giving off radiation. Okay, so if we summarize that, all objects emit some radiation, but certain surfaces are better at emitting radiation than others, and matte black is the um, best at emitting radiation, down to a shiny silver one, which is the worst emitter. Okay, the other half of this is, well, what about absorbing radiation? Because these sort of surfaces can absorb radiation as well. If we do the same thing, if we cover this uh, beaker of water with um, a silver surface, and then we turn the heater on here, so we're trying to heat this up by heat radiation, and the temperature only goes up to 28 degrees C, whereas if we do it with a matte black surface, the temperature gets much hotter, so people are more familiar with this normally. So the temperature this time gets to 42 degrees C, right, because it's better at absorbing the heat radiation. Okay, so the same principle here, matte black is also the best absorber, and silver, a shiny silver surface, is the worst absorber. So you see that black is the best, it's the best emitter of radiation, and it's the best absorber of radiation. Okay, so sometimes we just summarize that by saying matte black is best, it's the best emitter, and it's the best absorber. Okay, a couple of applications. So here's a fridge. Fridges are normally white or silver, but on the back they have a panel which is black. So if you think about why that is, the heat radiation is coming from the kitchen. You'd like it to reflect off the fridge so that the fridge stays cool. But then inside the fridge, you've got to have some coolant, because some of the heat does get in, so you have some coolant. The coolant goes around these pipes at the back, and what you're trying to do is to get rid of the heat away from the coolant. So you paint this black, because black is the best emitter. So this is white, because it reflects the heat radiation in the main part of the fridge, but black on the back, on the back because the black is, a, is emitting the heat radiation out of the coolant. If you think about the clothes that you wear in the summer and the winter, if you go out in white clothes in the summer when it's hot, then you reflect the heat radiation. You're cooler than the, the um, heat radiation from the sun. You're giving off less radiation than you're receiving. So you want to reflect the radiation. If you wear black, what happens is that you 
absorb the radiation until you get hotter. So in the summer you don't really want to wear black because you'll absorb the heat and you'll get too hot. In the winter you'll want to wear white because white is going to give off the least amount of radiation so wearing black in the winter will make you give off more radiation and you'll cool down faster. So it turns out that both in the summer and the winter white is the best colour to wear in terms of staying comfortable.